Basically, as part of the refurbishment of the Technical Academy, which is this building, um, we were given the opportunity to put in um, several sustainable options. The solar wall was one of those products in the, the whole raft of products we looked at. There might have been up to 20 different initiatives. It was one of those we looked at and thought, well, it sounds too good to be true. Is it really that good? And do we want to invest this kind of money on that? Could we invest the money better elsewhere on something we're more comfortable with? But we decided to stick with it uh, on the basis that, well, if it performs to what it should do, what it tells us it should do, it, it, the decision, decision's a good one. Initially, we were very sceptical. The results sounded too good to be true, as a lot of these sort of things do. But when we actually looked at our monitoring and saw the temperatures coming off of that solar wall and the benefits we were getting, it was far better than we were expecting anyway. So it uh, you know, convinced us straight away it's the product uh, that was the right for us and the right decision to make. We found that the claims are factual and proven on site to be very beneficial. And the display behind me demonstrates two instances of that. Uh, clearly where the outside air has been increased by at least 15 degrees or more um, during the winter months. After 12 months we're going to do a detailed analysis of the performance of all the technologies that we put into here. So really it'll be early next year by the time we get the, the true output. But there's certain items like the solar wall and other products which are far exceeding the performance that we expected anyway. Even when we've got very low outside air in the region of 4 degrees, as shown on the graph there, we are still pulling in air at 14 degrees higher than that, at 17 degrees. We then use that and blend that with the hot workshop air, which is, in effect, wasted air just sat under the ceiling, doing nothing. That is then used to provide free air into the building. It outperforms in terms of uh, the, the temperatures of the air actually coming off the surface of the, uh, the unit. We blow it into the building through a diffusion system that destratifies the air, um, as opposed to what would normally happen, which is that low air, four degrees air, would be pulled into the old existing plant. That cold air would reduce the supply air temperature of the unit, and the burner would repeatedly switch on and off, which is very wasteful in both energy and would age the units prematurely in the um, ignition system of the burners. The other option is, why should we waste that energy in running them gas appliances when I can gain 14 degree lift instantly by using the solar wall? I can blend that with dead air that's in the roof, that's doing nothing, and basically we're heating the workshop from early in the day with solar air. And I understand now there's legislation changing where we will actually be accountable for a lot of the CO2 footprint of dealers throughout the world. So as an organisation we'll be pushing those to install solar wall and other sustainability items throughout their uh, worldwide networks. But it's a hard one because we don't control them. They're, they're franchise businesses, we don't own those facilities, so we've just got to encourage and cajole people to uh, install the, the right technologies. Because it's beneficial to them. It's their uh, operating costs down, so everybody benefits. This is an absolute superb story, and as the years go by, one, after at least one year of, of operation, we'll have hard data, we'll say to dealerships, this is what you can achieve, guys. You know, it's, it's real benefits. It's pounds, shillings and pence that's uh, you know, not going out the door in uh, wasted heat and wasted energy. So uh, go for it. It's uh, a good product.